course, this was based on the true story of Sam Bloom and her family. Naomi, how did you first come across this story? The book came to me through my friend Emma Cooper, who's also a producing partner. And uh, she sent it to me and said, tell me what you think. Call me after you've read it. And I read it on a Sunday morning with my children in bed, um, leafing through the pages of, and being completely drawn in by these beautiful images of this creature, this little tiny bird. I just felt really like drawn in by um, this moment that I was having with my children, this family unity, and how that would translate in, in the telling of this story on the screen. And I saw the magic of this bird um, creating the unity and the, and the repair of one's hope. You want to erase yourself, who you were. There's the weight of the world on my shoulders. But you're still you, Sam. Andrew, this is your first feature project since departing the Walking Dead, a little bit of a different role, but how were you able to connect to playing Cameron and what were those conversations with him like? As soon as I agreed to do the project, he was, we were Skyping one another. I sort of bombarded him with a thousand ridiculous questions. And, and then I went out and I went surfing with his family and we hung out and we just spent time. And I, and I suppose the key thing that I said, why do you want, what, what do you want of this film? What is the thing you, you most want? He said, I want them to get that we're soulmates, that throughout this terrible trauma, this family, that, that it is ultimately a love story, you know, in sickness and in health. She doesn't want to be stuck inside, does she? <laughs> Boys and I were struggling. You're struggling. Yes, it's all of us. Naomi, you had to learn how to be in a wheelchair for a majority of this film. Did you have any learning curves with that or was it easy or difficult to navigate? I had to practice a lot and um, read a lot about it. And um, Sam, again, being the generous soul that she is, sent video footage over before I got there of her um, making, transferring from bed to chair. And, um, and it's not an easy thing to do. Um, even getting lifted by someone. Andrew had multiple moments where we were, he was having to lift me out, but thankfully um, Sam was there on the set monitoring things and, um, and she was really able to, you know, put me, set me straight when, when things went awry. Hello. Maybe should have left it there. She needs a knife. Penguin. The other star of this film was, of course, Penguin. This was a real life magpie that you both acted alongside. What was that experience like, Andrew? Was it difficult? Were they well behaved? What was that like? We had seven uh, magpies. Uh, so when one of them got tired or full, because they're sort of uh, this extraordinary guy, Paul would feed them with live worms. They only uh, responded to live worms. Um, it sounds really gruesome, doesn't it? But what surprised that there were seven, that there were seven of them. I thought this was just one extraordinary bird. As it grew, because obviously it, it spans, you know, the, the growth from the, the, the chick to obviously a full grown flying bird. And also it was augmented by CGI a couple of times when there were flying shots. And then also I think that there was a puppet as well, an animatronic puppet. But these birds were extraordinary. Must be weird to have wings and not be able to fly. Naomi, you of course mentioned that Sam and her family were very involved in the filming process. What was something that you took away from your conversations with her? Well, firstly, I was blown away by the generosity. I mean, she she not only shared her house and you know dark secrets of, of, of everything, her family members, her mom I met her um, friends, but she also shared her diaries um, in the lead up, which were deeply personal and gut-wrenching. I sobbed and sobbed when I read these words on the page, you know, and truly got closer to understanding, you know, what a private hell that she was living in. Really understood her, her strength. It's an inspiring story. Being on set and I had my family, Naomi had my actual family with us. We there was an extraordinary atmosphere of a, a sort of culture on set that was really, really conducive to being as honest and as true and as open and also honoring this extraordinary true story. Turns out magpies mate for life. Totally monogamous. Well, maybe that explains why they're so miserable. <laughs> <laughs>